Body armor is a potentially life-saving fact of life in police work. That includes the ones who patrol on four legs, not just two. Deschutes County Sheriff's canines recently got some new upgraded gear. Kelsey McGee met today with deputies and a police dog to learn more about that gear. Kelsey? Lee, the special dogs were fitted in some upgraded body armor that just might save their lives one day. The Deschutes County Sheriff's Office canines are wearing new body armor. It came from Canine Storm and what's purchased through the canine budget. Canine Storm sells vests, collars, and leashes. Deputy Ryan McNee says these new vests are thinner and lighter than the previous gear. He also says it's the lightest vest on the market that offers the highest level of protection. Canines are now wearing level 3A ballistic rated and stab resistant vests. What sets this vest apart is that it's custom made. So our dogs can wear these during the entire shift and they're not going to get the raw spots or injuries or anything from wearing the vest during the day. The sheriff's office has five patrol dogs and a bloodhound, each with a human partner. The plan is to outfit all the patrol dogs with the upgraded gear. Send our dogs into uh, situations where there's a uh, chance for injury just by the uh, environment, uh, under crawl spaces and houses, uh, you know, construction sites with rebar and sharp objects poking out. Um, there's just a myriad of things we ask these dogs to do, uh, and they need protection as well as we can protect them. McNee says his canine Rico handles the new gear well. He's able to do all the things he did with his uh, very minimal harness that he had before. Officers say these custom vests cost about $3,000. Lee, back to you.